All right, fishy folks, I'm here in Miami, Florida, and uh, I'm at a local fish farm. It's kind of small, not necessarily a farm where they breed and raise fish, but an outdoor local fish store, we'll call it. Kind of looks a little bit like a junkyard, but I really can't complain. I've seen my fish room. Let's go inside and take a look. Uh, this is the neighborhood fish farm is what it's called. And of course, I have already asked permission if I can film, and she said yes. And I handed her some stickers for my channel, and she looked at me like I was crazy. So right here we have some aquascaping, dragonstone, and some other stones, and driftwood. And then this is how they keep their plants and shrimp. Everything's outside, by the way. Everything is in... Uh, cement tubs which you'll see we have some plants and some shrimp of course these aren't cement these are uh, you know what they're called not glass acrylic big Amazon swords I wish I could take one of those home from my big tank my show tank potted plants Little bettas in little cups. Cheap, $3 each. All right, let's take a look. So they have it set up in rows. You can see they have that sign on, if you can see with the sun, and there's netting over top. But all these concrete tubs were built in 1961. And you may be selling, saying to yourself, how do you know that? Because it says it right here. All right, they have some really cool looking guppies. Green mosaic guppies. And uh, somebody was looking at these when I first got here and they had them in a container. They are gorgeous. And some plants. Looks like there's some fish in there too. I don't know what they are. Lots of koi and goldfish. Obviously those aren't koi or goldfish, but something. White Moscow's and goldfish in the same tank no way oh wait a minute i guess it can happen because they're doing it here it's about 75 degrees out here right now i would imagine the water temperature is close to that uh, this morning when i woke up it was uh, like 65 and everything's fine ribbon guppies these are pretty cool i have to see if they ship i really want some some of these guppies i'll show you how they change water and stuff um in a minute turquoise blue guppies and some comets it looks like let me just pan and show you the place it's pretty big and there's some bigger tubs in the back with bigger uh, koi and stuff in them oscars and what have you i'm going to definitely show you all the guppies because after all i am a guppy nerd hashtag guppy nation green neon guppies see if we can see them better um, and then I'll probably do a quick walk around of some of the other tanks yeah there's one pretty gorgeous looking actually to be honest with you Dumbo guppies oh boy butterfly koi's I don't see any koi in here I don't really see any butterfly guppies either these kind of look like half blacks from up here but We'll see. Looks like some feeders and some dead ones. More feeders. Oh, this is just snails, it looks like. Oh, there's some fish in there. More feeders. More feeders and some koi. Female guppies. It does look like they keep the males and the females separate red pineapple guppy oh i want some guppies i really do but i don't think i can take them on the plane i should have researched this i know i said i was going to research this last time and i didn't they're calling these sunray guppies oh those look pretty nice too lots of guppies and uh and 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 uh goldfish orandas bumblebee guppy so hmm. 
I wonder how much they, they yell at me if I took some fish out to look at them. Probably. Golden Tequila Tuxedo Guppy. Hmm. Looking good. Red Blonde Guppy. Red Rainbow Guppy. I'm guessing the blondes are the yellow ones, the rainbows are the dark ones. I don't know how good you can see that, how well you can see that. And look, more goldfish. Can't be done though. Can't keep goldfish and guppies together. German Yellow Metallic. Those are pretty damn spectacular. But see, these are all males. Right? So, and they just have females separate. Hmm, interesting. Red or Green Cobra. I have these. I sell these. Mine are nicer. Although there are some nice ones in here. Big spider web. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. See it? Red mosaic. Pretty cool. Yellow tuxedo. Three quarter black. Kind of like my half black. Marcy's tank from 1961. I wish Marcy was around. Green mosaic. Oh, sorry. Green Moscow's. These look nice, too. All right, let's show you their water change system. So, they have an overflow. Right there. And then they just drip water in. And then the water overflows into this little uh, catch area. Gutter area, I guess you'd have to call it. And that's how they do it. I don't know where they get their water from, though. Seems like a lot of water to go through every day. Uh, dojo loaches and tetras. I guess we're in the tetra aisle. Which I'll probably move through rather quickly. Unless I see something really cool. The sign says Snowball Plecostomus, but I don't see any. Although there is driftwood in there, so maybe they're hanging out underneath. white clouds over there it looks like hard to see so this is cardinal tetras autos and a beta i don't know what that is i can't see that far they look like little plecos or maybe they're the autos big autos i don't know snails jumbo neon tetras those are pretty big for neons. Hmm. No water dripping into here. I wonder why. I wonder why some have water, some don't. Maybe the stocking level? I wonder how much one of these holds. I bet if you ask a certain do yourself, or this is a thousand gallon pond, or a thousand gallon tank. Someone measure this real quick and tell me how big it is. I'm gonna try to ask if I can. Cardinal or green tetras? Again, too small. Oh. Tetra clearance. I think the goldfish have eaten the tetras. Butterfly koi. Panoi veil angelfish. Those I'd be interested in looking at. Oh. There's a gold scale, a pro scale. Or a gold scale anglefish. Hmm. All right. What do we got over here? More tetras. Serpes. I don't see any. Oh, over there. More butterfly koi. Albino rainbow shark. Uh, that'd be kind of cool to see. There's some a koi angelfish in there too. See him down there? You can't see him. I bet with the light. I see him. He's right in the middle. You know, when I go back and edit this video and be like, they can see fine, or they can't see crap. More angelfish. $8 for that small angelfish. I mean, they look nice, but they're small. But it is Florida. Long, thin, albino bristle nose. And dead fish over there. And I just realized I was covering the mic. So if you didn't hear what I was saying before, sorry. Too bad. It wasn't good anyway. I wonder where the other live bearers are. Danios. 
No water movement. Sumo loaches. I see the out, the shadow of an angelfish, and it's pretty damn cool. I can't wait to grow angelfish outside this summer. I said I was going to do it last year, and I didn't. I was too scared. <sighs> Gold angelfish. Peppermint tetra red cap aranda. Oh, dead tetra it looks like. Lots of angelfish, though. And here we have the air-breathing invisible fish. That's a joke. All right. Barbs and sharks. No, not interested. Let's see what we got in some of these big ones. Empty. There's a big one. Catfish. So I like how they separate them. Nothing, nothing in here. I don't know what they're trying to catch. It wasn't doesn't look like that arowana. Oh, there's more. I think they're Oscars. I'm not sure. I couldn't get a good look with the because the water's all mucky. Here's some koi. Hi guys! Look, they're coming over. They think I'm going to feed them. Very cool. Right, let's see what's over here. More koi. I would imagine koi is pretty popular here. No, angelfish. Angelfish and koi together? Stop it! Or goldfish, I guess. I think I did a video on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, let's see if we can find some other things I like. Because it's all about me, after all. Goldfish, lots of goldfish. Goldfish. Oh, Ooh, there's a big one. So it looks like they just drain this one. And I guess they separate them and they put more center blocks to section it off. It's pretty cool actually. Obviously there's nothing in here, but let's see what was in here. Rhino pleco it said. All right, got some floating plants and some koi. Comments and shabukins. Sh shabunkins. I'm sure, there's a joke in there somewhere. I wonder what those little tiny fishies are. They look like guppies. And gold severums and a nice angel fish. And more koi in these little ponds. Pretty cool. Thought about setting up some of these outside, but my dogs would go in them and take baths. Are they growing algae or plants in here? I wonder. I bet that's what they're doing. Hi, fishies. So now we're walking on plastic, which is interesting because it's kind of bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. So are they just growing algae and plants or what? What do you think? I don't know. I could probably ask, but there's like two people here working and there's like 10 customers walking around and I'm just being a, you know what, filming. Angels, koi angels. It says butterfly koi, but those are angels. I'm pretty sure from here. Don't you think? Let's look. Yeah, those are angels. They're not, they're butterfly koi angels. I don't know. <sighs> All right. 
There's some water on the ground here. Not really unusual for a fish store. Yeah, goldfish. I know they have platies and mollies. At least there's a sign that says platies and mollies. I'll have to find that sign. What the? What was that? Oh, look. Wildlife. These tanks are pretty cool. I wonder what they are. The last time I was here, about 18 months ago on a business trip, there, the owner was here and he was really talkative. I don't know if the other people will be as talkative, especially with the customers. So let's look at this gecko or lizard or whatever the hell it is. Oh, he's gone. More koi. Sorry for panning the camera too fast. Trying to get everything in. And I'm going to go catch my flight. Warmies? Gwarmy. Gwarmy? Gwarmy. Whatever. You know what I mean. Lots of gwarmies. That says a bino iridescent shark, but I don't know that those are what they are. Oh well. Uh, live bears, where are you? Select koi. Okay. Hmm. Absolutely no fishing or swimming. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Let's look for more live bears, shall we? Rainbow fish and exotics. American cichlids. All right. Let's take a look at some of these American cichlids. These are goldfish. These are African cichlids. I'm not even an African cichlid guy, and I know that OB peacocks are African. <sighs> no. 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 Come on. Give me some fish I like. That's a cool tank. Octagonish. Pretty cool. Looks like it's been empty for a while. Alright, what's down here? Another empty tank. Oscars and goldfish. Still haven't decided what I'm putting in one of my big tanks. Maybe an Oscar. I've seen some flower horns lately that I'm not really loving. Uh, yeah. Something that jumps. Silver dollars? I don't know. I thought that's what it said. Electric blue Texas cichlid. There you go. There's an American cichlid. Green terror. It says there's a flower. There's cherry flower horn. That's what it says. Look. And they're $10 each. You guys would know better than me. Alright. Am I coming to more live bears? Because that would really make me happy. Because I'm a guppy and live bear nerd. Nerd. Yellow labs. Are those yellow labs? Yeah, they are. Hmm. African cichlids and goldfish together. Stop it. Can't be done. You know why? The internet said so. Ha ha. Yes, it can. <laughs> I looked at this from afar and I thought it said a Kevin cichlid. I'm like, what's that? All right, for you cichlid guys, I'll, I'll stay here for a second. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, no more live bears. Lots of goldfish, though. All right, maybe the live bears are on this side. Nope. <sighs> no. 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 No more cichlids. No. I think that's it. I think the guppies were it. 
And no, uh, no dwarf cichlids that I like either. Okay, just kidding. I found more live bears. Got some Dalmatian sailfin mollies. And there's an angelfish in there that's pretty cool. Couple. We've got koi swordtails. I don't see any koi swordtails. And some angelfish. Let's see what else. There's something down there in the dark, but I can't see them. I think they're angelfish. All right, over here we have some angelfish, some black lair tail mollies, some snow white mollies, platinum mollies, whatever you want to call them. They call them silver. Nice size mollies. All look pretty nice, actually. Oh, there's some little plecos on the bottom. It says rhino pleco. You can't tell from here. Not that I could tell if I was looking right at it, but another cool spider web. I don't know if you can see it. All right. More mollies. Looks like some balloons, maybe. And some more comets. Some more angelfish. They mix everything here. What the heck? Lair swordtails. Really? Let me see a lair swordtail molly. I've never heard of something. Not a lair swordtail molly, you silly goose. A lair swordtail. I can't see them. Can you? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's one right in the middle. Looks like a neon swordtail. But it looks like it has a layer tail. Liar tail? Layer tail? Guarmy? Shut up. Uh, lots of sword tails. Velvet, marigold, marigold wag, pineapple sunset. Basically a mixed bag. Oh, there are some nice sword tails in here. That's that's for sure. Hmm. I gotta ask if they ship. Stop it. Don't do it. Molly or sword tail mix. Okay. It's like their mutt tank. Fancy platy mix. Eh. Wait a minute. What are those? Those aren't platies. Those are mollies, aren't they? Those look interesting. Hyphen sword tail. But not layer tail like I have. White stringy poop. See it? You probably can't see it. I see white stringy poop in two or three of them. No, thank you. Yup. I mean, you really can't think there's going to be anything different out here, right? So some of these gold dust self and mollies are spectacular. All right, let's go see if they ship. I wonder if they'll talk to me on camera. Probably not. Sometimes my awesome good looks scare them. Or the camera scares them. She's in that tank. That's interesting. Okay. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. I'm here with Karina from, Karina from Neighborhood, Fish Farm. Neighborhood Fish Farm. And Karina has been working here for only about six months. Only about six months. What's your favorite fish? It would have to be the red tail catfish. Red tail catfish. And in this tank, there's some ginormous red tail catfish. Yeah. How big are these, do you think? Um, the fish or the tanks? The tanks. I would say more than 1,000 to 5,000 gallons. And I see that there's an overflow, and that's a lot of water. Where does the water come from? So the water actually comes from the well, and we have an oxygen pump coming from underground. So when the weather starts getting chilly and a cold front comes, the, we turn off the oxygen and leave the water on. Because anything that comes from underground when the, has more pressure and is colder with the temperature. That's great. How long has this place been around? Since 1971. And what do you think your most popular fish is? For community tanks, it would have to be angelfish, hands down. And then for aggressive, it would have to be cichlids for sure. Excellent. Anything else you want to say to my subscribers? You guys should come visit. You should come food. visit. She's right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Well, that's the tour. 
of the neighborhood fish farm. Hope you guys liked it. It's kind of different. Um, I gotta see if they ship because there are some guppies I want if I can get females. And I think what they do is they let people walk around with these buckets. I think that's how they do it. Anyway, folks, don't forget to uh, hit up the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel. <laughs> don't forget to hit up the Facebook page as well as my website. If you're interested in any fish or some of the blogging I've been doing lately. If you go there, it might look a little bit different. It's been worked on by the mad scientist himself. And... Uh, I think it looks pretty damn good. So, all right, guys, have a good one. See ya. All right, fishy folks, here in Miami, Florida, at a local fish farm. Looks a bit, a little bit about. Looks, holy Jesus. It's really bad. Like I worry about it. Why? Long fill, albine. Long fill. What is a long fill? It's been being it's been being worked on. Holy Jesus.